Well, as the national conversation on race continues, LSU agreed with calls to rename its Middleton Library pending board approval. Middleton was LSU's president from 1951 to 1962 with a troubled legacy surrounding desegregation. The move came after days of extensive conversations with student leaders and some of those leaders join us this morning to talk about the issue, the talks they had with LSU and how it plays into the overall national dialogue on erasing symbols of a racist past. And we welcome Unique Luna and Kiami Rivers Brown. Good morning, you two. Good morning. So Unique, I want to start with you. Tell us a little bit about when this conversation started. Uh, with the administration or amongst the students? Just amongst the students. Uh, so the students actually been having this conversation for years. Um, and in terms of getting administration to support and understand, um, it didn't take until the death of George Floyd for there to actually be uh, the administration to listen and understand the gravity of the situation when it comes to the racial tensions in this country um, and as an institution LSU can be uh, leading in this cause so as black students that conversation has been there prior to me even entering LSU and I'm just curious Kiami when you walk by the library or go in it or when you hear the name I mean what do you think about how does it make you feel um, well, just understanding that a symbol of like racism and hate has been allowed to stand on a campus that is growingly diverse has been kind of troubling. It is like this type of internalized violence that occurs almost every time that you walk in. And it might seem dramatic when you hear the word violence associated with walking in a building, but when there's a symbol of a man who did not want black students to be on campus, that means that there is this internalized notion of every black student that you don't belong in this space. Absolutely. So this is a conversation that, as you guys mentioned, students have been having for quite some time. What was that like when you first took it to the school and what was their kind of feedback? What did that conversation look like? Well, uh, for me, um, it was all about accountability. Uh, from the jump, it was a conversation that needed to be had. And so regardless of what the administration said, it was necessary for me and other black student leaders to take it into our own hands to show that this on top of the other things that we are asking for is just as pertinent and it starts with symbolism a lot of times before we start with the system itself. Unique, you know, the family is pushing back on this idea to name, re, to change the name. Uh, they called him an American hero, Louisiana icon, and saying that renaming it would erase the state's history. What are your thoughts about that? Uh, so that's, again, everyone, when you look at history, American history, uh, there are people who will be looked as hero depending on which perspective you're looking for. If you're asking the African Americans in this country, was he a hero? No. Uh, he denied people on this campus to uh, from entering the pool, from socializing with other Americans, and to me that does not sound like a hero. Just because he helped some does not make him a hero. And I know this is kind of early in the game, but what would you like to see that building renamed? Uh, me personally, um, I'm, I'm just fine with the removal of his name. I think that's a big start, um, but it would be nice to see a name of someone that actually impacted the entire community or world, not just a select few. And Kiami, really quick, as, you, uh, as your group moves through this process, I mean, what is your message to others? What do you want people to know? Um, I think it's important for students of color at LSU to begin increasing their visibility and their influence on a predominantly white campus. Just understanding that we want to make a space that is safe for black students, for other students of color, for white students, where we can all come together as a collective for the greater good, because that is what education does. It prepares us all to enter a world where we can serve and build each other and build an environment of safety, happiness, and power together. It's definitely an important message. Thank you guys both so much for joining us. It was such a pleasure speaking with both of you. Thank you. Thank you for having us.